Hello, friends. Hey, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx. And this is Tyler, also SportRx. I mean, yeah, we're here. I'm yeah. the signs right there. Right there. What are we talking about today? Hey, we're talking about the Ray-Ban Aviator, and this is a video that's been long coming. This is like a size guide, all information guide on the Ray-Ban Aviator. So, I mean, what does Ray-Ban know about an aviator? <laughs> they kind of started the whole... So this style <laughs> yes. frame is very in style and on trend, but it always is. It's like, yeah. it never goes away. Evergreen. Yeah, it's always popular. It's, it's always works. It's such a classic. I mean, it is the classic sunglasses. Between the Wayfair and the Aviator, I mean, that's yeah. pretty much sunglasses. You can't get away from it. Yeah, so um, you might be thinking, why are there so many sizes? What do all these numbers mean? I'm so confused. I just want a pair of aviators that I know is going to fit me. What do I do? You watch this video, and we're going to help you. So the Ray-Ban 3025 is the most known kind of number or number for the Ray-Ban aviator. The 3025 comes in three sizes. It comes in a 50... It comes in four sizes. Well, buddy. not really. I'll get to that. That's why it's confusing. That's why we're here. It comes in a 55, which I would call the small. Yeah. Comes in a 58, which is the medium, and it comes in a 62, which is almost more than a large. It's like a large, extra large. Yeah. So I would say true medium, true small, and then this is like the big large, boy, large. the big boy one. The confusion comes with this one little tiny guy over here. This is the 3044. It only comes in one color, this yeah, color, yeah. and it's a 52 eye size. It's and itty it's, bitty it's baby. It's itty one. bitty. It's almost like some people think, oh, I need to get the smallest one. No, you really don't. It's it's really small, Check so uh, it's almost a youth size or a <laughs> kid size. Ridiculous. You look ridiculous. Okay, so great, though. now though that Tyler's here and trying on the 3044, which you probably shouldn't get in the 52i size, put those down. Yeah. Put on the 55, because you're about a small to medium. Yeah, I think this fits me well. I'm gonna, the, I'm gonna go for the, the fun. The yeah, way. let's look at these. So let's try this. 55 on him now as yeah. the number might confuse you because 55 on an eyeglass if like you're looking on the inside of your regular everyday eyeglasses it's kind of a big that's like what i would wear but in sunglasses you need a size up just because of the way it all works so i would say that's a pretty good fit on you i might even be able you, to go i think you need to go to the 58 let's yeah. see the 58 so even me the 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 Small to medium, petite, the petite. You don't petite like that, man. I know I don't. But now try the fifty-eight on you. Yeah, Let me that see. feels better. That's right. Yeah, I would say that's good. Yeah. So I guess I'm more of a medium. I would say most women get the fifty-five. Yeah. A lot of guys get the fifty-eight, but some girls also get the fifty-eight if you kind of want that oversized. And then the sixty-two is just big, and that's what, that's what I need. And I have a pair of these that I love. So that is the 62, and I would say that that is for sure That's your side. the big guy. Why don't you put them on just so people okay. can see that like, oh, I want really big aviators. It's kind of silly. Okay. I feel good. So again, a little bit with the confusion. Now, all you big-headed people that are on this side of the table that are wanting the 62i size, the the 62 eye size sometimes is called the Ray-Ban Aviator 3025. Sometimes, in some colors, it's called the Ray-Ban Aviator 3026. Now you know. So they're the same glasses. I can't tell any difference. Just some colors have the six, some colors have the five. Why not add a little bit more confusion to it all? I mean, we can argue about all that stuff for as long as you want. Let's do it. No, I don't really want to. <laughs> all right, so again, um, 62, really big. It's big. I want to talk about sizes. Let's let's talk about the the nitty gritty. The yeah. 55. Why don't you start with the tiny guy? Okay. Just go in let's order. Get it out of the, way. the 3044, which is called the 52 i size. However, it's so small. You saw how small it was. Well, the A, they're calling it a 52. We measure it as a true 50. It's so small. The B, this deeper than average, just because the lens height. Sorry just because it's an aviator, measures in at a 42. Bridge tends to be narrower on an aviator. We're looking at a 14, 135 in the temple, which is a little bit long for this being like essentially a baby frame. Yeah, yeah. It is and adjustable then, though. Yes. And then uh, uh, temple to temple overall with 122 again, tiny. All right, so then the next one, the 55 eye size, we measure that one actually at 55 on the width of the frame, also known as the A size, the width of the lens, sorry. The B, the height is 46 millimeters. The distance between the lenses is 14. Uh, the temple length is 135 and the same temple- the 52? Yeah, the temple length on all of them is the same and the distance between the lenses on all of them is the same, by the way. 
Uh, the temple length is 135 and the temple to temple, that's the kind of width of the whole frame, is 130. So why don't we jump to the 58, go for it. Let's do it. So the 58, again, we measure this as a true 58. And the lens width, the lens height, 49. It's getting bigger, right? Why not? Why wouldn't it? It's a bigger frame. 14 is the, the bridge from lens to lens. You got 135 to the temple again. And then 137 overall, temple to temple, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. And then the big guy, the one I'm wearing, uh, the 62 eye size, we measure at 61 and a half millimeters if you want to get really, really particular on it. The height of the lens gets really big at 53. The uh, distance between the lenses is still 14, but again, adjustable nose pad, so it'll fit pretty much any kind of nose. The temple length on this one is actually longer. I was wrong earlier. This one is 140 millimeters, which is good. Once you get into a frame this big, sure. a little bit more temple length is good. And then the temple to temple is 146. I want to take a quick a quick jab at the bridge because I've been getting some people talking to me about their their bridge being a specific number. Uh, that's literally the narrowest point yeah, between the lenses. If you're looking at the at the where the, the the contact is made with your nose, it's obviously lower than the narrowest point, and it's adjustable. Yeah, the DBL is an opt product. yeah it's an optical term. DBL stands for distance between the lenses, not dibble. And it's a it's a optical term that helps us when we're cutting our lenses in prescription. So it's not super relevant always on the actual yeah. how it fits on your nose. Speaking of cutting lenses in prescription, you can get Rayvian aviators in prescription from SportRx. You can get also, them uh, with authentic Ray-Ban lenses. You can get them with SportRx lenses. You can get them progressives, bifocals, yeah. clear polarized, mirrored, And the cool thing about these, extremely RXable. You can put yeah. really, really strong prescriptions in these and it's not a problem at all. However, with the Ray-Ban Authentics, they do have a, they do have parameters. They can't yeah. go you over can, a certain you can prescription, always, but we can. You can always call SportRx and talk to a real live, friendly, happy optician. You can email us info at sportrx.com. You can leave a comment down in the comment section and we will reply to you. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It makes us really happy. And even more happy if you subscribe to our channel. That makes us like super crazy, fragilistic This is like happy. we added someone to the family. It's like a new friend. There's like a big of family. Yeah, I like it. Okay, well, that's a lot of info on the Ray-Ban Aviator. We'll Everything you need to know. Fly you later? No, is there no stop it. Goodbye. Talk about Ray-Ban. Are you okay? No, we're good. We have to start over. It's cool. Start over. Well, now that you said we have to start over, you have to start over. Let's start over. Definitely start over.